Tom Whiting with Paddle TV and yet another in-depth, unbiased gear review. Now we're doing things a little different this time because I had a long winter, a lot of snow, a lot of frozen water, but now I am loving life. Lake Gunnersville, Alabama. And so I've decided to do this gear review poolside. Now when it comes to recreational kayaks for flat water, there are a lot of kayaks to choose from. But I think one of the best styles is a sit inside kayak around 12 foot in length. For entry level paddlers trying to choose, not sure what to choose, are overwhelmed by the number of choices out there. If you're looking for an entry level flat water kayak, as a default choice, a roughly a 12 foot kayak, sit inside recreational kayak, it's hard to go wrong. That doesn't mean it's the right choice from everybody, but it's hard to go wrong with it, which is probably why it's one of the best selling styles of kayaks that there are. Liquid Logic, who's been making kayaks for a very long time, they just entered the market with a new kayak in that range. And that's what I'm going to be reviewing today. If I ever get my butt off this chair, which might not happen. So let me tell you a bit more about the Liquid Logic Saluda. The Saluda comes in three sizes. You've got the Saluda 11, which is a slightly smaller version, 11 foot version for smaller paddlers. You've got the Saluda 12, which is 12 foot and for slightly larger paddlers. And then you've got the Saluda 14.5, 14.5, which is a tandem version. The version that I'm testing is the Saluda 12. The Saluda 12 has a retail price of 1,099 US dollars. It's 12 feet long, 29 inches wide. It weighs 51 pounds and it has a capacity of 300 pounds. It features soft touch handles, deck bungees, a gear stash console, foot braces, thigh pads, frame seating, a paddle clip, and a hinged dry hatch with a bulkhead. It also has a replaceable skid plate and is made in the USA. Now Liquid Logic doesn't say much about the Saluda except that it provides a unique vision for comfort, performance, and all day paddling fun. I'm here to test that out and to find out is the kayak worth the money and how it stacks up against other kayaks in its class. I've got a great plan to test this kayak. I'm going to the Paint Rock River. The Paint Rock River is supposedly a beautiful river, winds its way through northern Alabama and into the Tennessee River just downstream of the Gunnersville Dam. I'm hooking up with Dan Truitt. He's the host of the Southern Paddler YouTube channel. And we're going to do a section of the Paint Rock and put the Saluda to the real test. So, well, I'll head there sometime, but maybe not quite yet. All right, so the Paint Rock River, what a beautiful place and what a fantastic way to test this kayak. I got flat water and I got some good current, which is great for testing a flat water kayak. Now, before I dive into my review, if you're wondering why I'm talking to you from a pool, well, I'm wondering the same thing. Portability. This is a 12 foot kayak and it's 51 pounds. Now, that's what you'd expect from a 12 foot kayak but it's actually quite portable. It's easy to get around. The padded cockpit rim, uh, along with its relatively light weight and just the nature of the kayak makes it easy for, relatively easy, for a single person to, to solo carry on their shoulder. Now, being 12 feet is also, it's a manageable length. When a kayak gets over 12 feet, when you get into the 14, 16, 17 foot lengths of kayaks, it gets 
exponentially more awkward to deal with. 12 feet is a nice manageable length. So overall, this kayak for a hard shell kayak is relatively portable. Stability. This kayak is a stable kayak. Is it the most stable kayak? Absolutely not. If you want a floating dock, this isn't it. And the reason it's not it is because it was designed also to be a good kayak to paddle. A dock isn't a good paddling boat. And so you give up some stability for performance, which I'll get into in a bit. But what this kayak does have is it has secondary stability. Now what's secondary stability? Secondary stability is the kayak's desire or willingness to sit on edge and balance on edge. And you can see it just sits on this edge beautifully. And when, when it, if you get knocked off balance and go to edge, it's almost like you get rejected. And that's great because it means the chances of having an unexpected flip are dramatically reduced, even if it doesn't have like this insane primary stability, which is just the stability of the kayak sitting flat. Again, don't get me wrong. This is a stable kayak. It's just not the most stable kayak you could possibly find. Now performance. Well, cutting right to the chase, this thing performed beautifully for the type of kayak it is. It's 12 feet, but it paddles very efficiently. It almost, I would say, paddles like a, a kayak that's a bit longer than it is. It tracks very well. It holds its course, going straight very well. But on top of that, it's also very maneuverable. It's very easy to turn. So it really marries maneuverability with speed and efficiency of travel very well. So overall, great performing kayak for the, the, the size and type of kayak as it is. I mean, yes, a 14 foot, a 16 foot a touring kayak that is a little narrower is gonna travel much more effectively and, and faster through the water. But for what this is, a recreational kayak that provides a wonderful platform of stability, it performs wonderfully. Now, comfort. Once again, very comfortable kayak. There's so much room in here. I mean, I'm a big dude with long legs and I can sit cross-legged in here. I can move around, no problem. It has good solid foot pegs and it has this, this padded cockpit rim. So the legs are just nice. They're comfortable all day long. I was sitting in this kayak for over six hours on the paint rock and I was comfy the whole time. That's also due to the seat. It's got a frame seat. It's a frame with basically a material wrapped around that point frame so that it contours it uh, to your body shape. And it's nice and wide so it should fit most people very well and it was it's really comfortable for me. It does lack some of the comparable kayaks have under leg support but i didn't notice that missing in this kayak it's it was comfortable that's all i can say about comfort now features well this kayak doesn't have a ton of features and i didn't expect it to have features but the features that are on this kayak are nice i mean this dashboard well to be honest like dashboards don't do anything really for me uh i'll probably have this off most of the time but the fact is it's with these knobs you can just take it off in a second throw it back on if you like it. And you know, some people will appreciate this hatch, this waterproof uh, little hatch. It's got a track system here so you could mount uh, a GPS or a camera. I mean, it, for some people it might be a nice convenient feature and it definitely doesn't get in the way of the legs. So yeah, nice little addition. It's got bungees to store gear on the front and back. Great. The hatch is, it's a nice hatch and the closure system is really nice too. There's lots of room back here to store gear. You could do a camping trip. You could put, yeah, you could just put a lot of gear back there. And it also has a bulkhead right behind the seat here. And a bulkhead is a wall in the kayak that separates the kayak into, in this case, two compartments, the front compartments, and then this back compartment, which you access through the hatch. That's good for a few re reasons. It means the stuff in here is kind of waterproof. I wouldn't fully trust that but it's at least watertight. That's great for your gear, but that's also great from a safety perspective because if, you, if I did flip, only this part of the kayak is gonna swamp. This part is gonna trap air, and it's almost like the kayak having its own life jacket. It makes it a lot easier to deal with a swamped kayak, uh, even if that means just swimming it to shore. A lot easier to do with 
a swamp kayak that has a big air compartment. The padded cockpit rim is also nice and I've talked about the seat which I really like. Now the only thing critique I have about this kayak would be the seat, how the seat fits uh, into the kayak. There's wiggle room, there's play and so the, the seat slides back and forth when you put it from one edge to the other like a chunk, a chunk back and forth. You know it's not a big deal, it's a bit more of an annoyance uh, and for most people who aren't going edge to edge as aggressively as I do, it'll be a non-issue altogether. That being said, it took me all of 30 seconds to go, huh, I want to get rid of that. Oh, I'll just take my sponge, which I always carry in my boat, and just shove it in there to fill that gap and problem solved. So, I mean, when I get home, I'll probably shove a piece of foam in there and that problem will be solved. So it's not a big issue it's just one of those little things that hey could have been a better fit that brings us to sizing how is this sizing wise well i'm six foot two i'm 200 pounds 195 200 pounds probably closer to 200 pounds because of all the fine dining i've been doing down here in gunnersville the southern comfort food mm. but I fit great in this thing. There's so much leg room. The foot pegs have lots of room to move forward. I could be a lot bigger in this thing. I didn't, I mean, there's lots of freeboard here. I would say that you could be significantly bigger than me and still be comfortable and confident in this kayak. Maybe, you know, up six foot five, six foot six, uh, six foot seven even. And, you know, even though it says capacity of 300, I think, you know, up to 250 pounds, you'd be you'd be quite comfortable in here. Otherwise, when it comes to sizing, I am using a 230 centimeter paddle with this kayak, and I think that for me, that's a great length for this kayak. It's 29 inches wide, which is you know that's wider than a sea kayak, which is going to be more in the 23 inch range. Um, so you need a slightly longer paddle to reach the water effectively. But the seat is raised off the floor, and so. Not, but not too high. So you're not sitting too deep. You don't need a, a long paddle to get out to the water. It's not super wide. A 230 centimeter paddle is great for me. Of course, anything plus or minus 10 from that would work for you. So who is this kayak for? Well, this kayak is for anybody who wants a flat water recreational kayak. Someone who isn't planning or wanting to deal with rough water, rough conditions. It's for somebody who is happy to give up a little bit of stability for performance for a kayak that's faster and fun to paddle. On the flip side, you know, it's for somebody who wants stability, who doesn't, is willing to give up the speed of a, you know, a higher performance touring kayak or, or a sea kayak to have a kayak that is very stable. And lastly, it's for somebody who likes the feeling of being inside a kayak rather than a sit on top kayak where you're sitting up higher, you're, you know, on top of the kayak, more subject to uh, wind and water. This is a little more protected than a sit on top kayak. Now, last but not least, overall value, is this thing worth the $1,100 price tag? And the simple answer is absolutely. It's a, a very nice and fun to paddle kayak. And yes, you can get a cheaper kayak. There's no doubt about it. It's not a cheap kayak, but you're paying a premium for performance. You're paying a premium for uh, comfort and you're paying a premium to have a fun kayak to paddle. This is the kind of boat you can put pretty much anyone into. If you need a kayak to do what I'm doing right now, to play around in your pool with, well, this is serious overkill. That's all I gotta say about the Liquid Logic Saluda. I hope you liked this video, and if you have, as always, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. And if you wanna watch the Paint Rock River, the full uh, adventure, then check out the Paddle Tales episode of our Paint Rock River trip with Dan, the Southern Paddler trip. And, uh, well, stay tuned. We've got lots more paddling adventures, gear reviews, and tips coming your way.